that. Um, I'll put them on the screen. Okay, we're live. Okay, good morning. Hello. Happy good Happy morning, day. everybody. We have so, a surprise today. It's not Teresa. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not Teresa. Yeah, I am Nancy, and I also have Yvette here. In yeah, the back. hello. 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 I'm in the background. <laughs> um, we, we have Nancy here. Um, she's going to be um, in place of Teresa today, right? You're our Teresa for the day. Yes, I am. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time. We are doing metal products. I am doing metal pigment and liquid metal. So we are going to have fun with some shiny project products. Oh, definitely. Hello, Mel. Hello, Betsy. We have a Facebook user somewhere in one of the groups, I believe. But hello, hello. Hello, Rima. Can you see the comments on the screen when they I, pop up? I can see them when you put them up. Yeah. So I'm yeah, not. I'll put them up as much as I can. Hello, yeah. everybody. Hello. So <clears throat> we have a demo from Nancy today. It's going to be a lot yeah. of fun. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you want to wait a little bit to see if more come on, or we you tell me when we're ready to go. Um, yeah, I, I suppose you could probably start. Okay. Yeah. All right. People watching. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Hi, Rima. So um, we have the two products today. I'm doing liquid metal and metal pigment. And liquid metal comes in these containers like this, these little glass jars. And we have the metal pigments that are these little plastic containers. And what we use with that is uh, pigment fix. Now, they both are going to give you an incredibly beautiful shine when you use them. But there's a few differences between them uh, that I'll go over and you decide which you want to use, which you know, you'll figure out when you use them, which you like better. They both have pros and I don't want to say cons, but some differences between them yeah, when both good for different things right right and um liquid metal is a solvent based product so it mm -hmm. does have an odor whereas the metal pigment is water-based so with the solvent based product you are going to need uh, a cleaner so when you use it with a brush or um a sponge or something, you need to clean it and, oh, it's right here at the end. Uh, this is the solvent cleaner that I use. So after you use it on your brush, you just dip it in. I'll show you how to use this, but that cleans it up. So when you get the liquid metal, you want to shake, shake them really well. You'll hear little, little balls in the bottom that mm -hmm. start to, can you hear that? They start yep. to shake around. <laughs> so that helps stir them up. So you definitely want to shake them well. Mm -hmm. I also take the lids off and then use a little wooden stick to stir them because sometimes the uh, pigments just get stuck on the bottom. And they so, do, especially if you don't use them for a while. Yes. Like so, if you open it and then leave it and don't use it for a bit, yeah. Yes. Even if, even if you're going to use them a long time, mm -hmm. you're between use because they can settle. Yeah. So... I'm going to show you all the colors. We have gold and antique gold. They're slightly different. Silver and brass and copper. So I'm going to show you. So we're going to shake them up. I painted this board with just a black, um, uh, I think I used chalk paint and then a, a little bit of cream here just to show you the difference between the colors and then I'm going to show you how to use them um, on I did a book here with a mold and I'm going to show you what it looks like on that oh, and also that you can use it on paper if you're into junk journals paper crafting they can be used on there mm -hmm. so I'm going to show you the gold and the antique gold next to each other so this is gold now, it does have a pretty strong odor. If you've used solvent-based products before, you want to use it in a ventilated area because it does smell 
Definitely. Some of them are stronger than others. Yeah, which I just learned when the vet told me. <laughs> and now Good morning, everybody who's just joined in. Good morning. Hello, hello. They're all pretty strong smelling. Now, mm -hmm. you don't feel these. Some people get a little fanatical. I got a seal. So what I normally do would be to, like, if I'm going to put it on this mold to bring out the the highlights of it, I would seal the book first. Mm -hmm. You can seal it after. If you're going to, you have to use a solvent-based varnish. And I suggest the glossy because it would keep that glossy. But, it, you know, it will affect it a little bit. It will take away a little bit of the shine. So it's not necessary. You don't have to seal them. No, and the curing time for them is a little bit longer. They stay sticky for a while because of they the salt. Yeah, I usually put it on and just set it aside. Yeah, for like them. a day or two. I also use an old brush. So I have all my old brushes here um, just in case. So what I normally do is dip it in here to clean it in the solvent cleaner, which is like a turpentine here in the U.S. It's not like a turpentine. It is turpentine. <laughs> and then I take it to the sink and put Dawn soap in my hand and do that like two or three times mm -hmm. and then pretty clean. So this is the gold. See, I want to see the difference because I've only ever used the normal gold, I think. Not the I antique. Never tried the antique, I don't think. I'm going to put it there and then I'm going to show you on the cream as well. Okay, so that. That's the gold. So pretty. Shiny. It's pretty close to the metal leaf, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely um, probably like the closest metallic that you can get to metal leaf. Yeah. All right. So now I don't know if you can see that. I'm just dipping that in my solvent and I just wipe it off the sides and then I put it into water because I'm not going to dip this into my other color. I'm going to use different brushes. But what you don't want to do is dip this directly into water. It will harden up. So you mm -hmm. have to solve it cleaner first. And it won't really clean off with just water either. It's just going to stay on there. Right. Now this is the antique gold. I can do a second coat because this is a black background. Mm -hmm. You can do two coats. It is covering better on the cream. This really wouldn't be great for a stencil because it's so thin. Mm -hmm. Could You could put it on like a, a sponge like this and sponge it on. But mostly it's used with a brush. Okay, so that you can see the antique is definitely darker. It's still a beautiful gold, but it's just not that brassy kind of bright. And Definitely. it's not opaque. Right. I, I did find the same thing with, so uh, normal gold versus copper. Um, copper, I would have to put on like a few coats on to get right. like really good coverage. And then, um, I don't know, maybe nothing compares to normal gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so that's the gold, antique gold. I'm going to show you silver. Let's throw this up. How's everybody doing today? Anybody uh, have plans for the weekend? What are you doing this Easter, everybody? So you can see I'm stirring up the silver, and that one has a little bit. It's, it's on the bottom a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sometimes first stir it, it'll actually come out in a huge clump on your stick. So you want to make sure you give it a good stir. Yeah. I, it looks exactly like you would think liquid metal. It's like, it's like metal melted in a jar. It's so pretty. <laughs> um, because I, I believe it is, it's like the traces of actual metals that they yeah. grind up, like, like um, oh, very ground up. That's why it has such a good coverage, and that's why it's the closest thing to um, metal leaf. That's silver. That has great coverage. Does it smell any different? It does. Yes, it does. Okay. 
<laughs> Sharon oh. says it's hot in Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, wow. And um, Robin says she's going to go see her new grandbaby. Congratulations, uh, Robin. Nothing uh, compares to that. <laughs> you win. <laughs> and quite a story to go with that birth. <laughs> that was quite a story. Um, the silver definitely smells stronger. It, Hello, uh, Terry. It's different. We have Terry in the house. Good morning, Terry. What are you doing up? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Who says it's minus one for oh. her? It's oh. it's cold. <laughs> Where is that? Uh, Canada, right, Sue? Okay. Whereabouts in Canada are you? Okay, this is copper. And that's why Teresa told me, taught me a little trick. She said, if, if it has metal in the product name, that's when you know you have to use a, a solvent-based varnish. Mm -hmm. You want to varnish. Like I said, you don't have to. This has great coverage too. I forgot to do the silver on the cream. Maybe I didn't mix mine up too well. Yeah, this is pretty good coverage. Interesting. You could use a second coat, whereas the antique gold, I, you might even need a third, possibly. Yeah. yeah. Excellent coverage. Oh, that's so gorgeous. It's like yummy. <laughs> yummy. It is. It's it's 30 degrees Fahrenheit for her, and she's in northern Ontario. Okay. Now, when you use the cleaner, it's going to look... At, it's going to look dirty, but you can still keep using it. The the, the little metal pieces and, and whatever this is made of will sink to the bottom. But you can keep you can keep using it for quite a while. I just happen to get a new one, but I, I keep using the old one. And it's just a Hello, she will watch and replay. Hi, Ronnie. You can, you know, certainly use a container of turpentine that you already have and pour it in a container. This is just nice because it has a lid. It sits right here with my products and um, it makes it easier for me. And well, is asking, what cleaner is that? This is turpentine. It says turpentine based. It's from Pentart. Pentart solvent cleaner. Yeah. So you can get it, you know, from the Royal Court retailers. Um, it's just a nice little contained thing that you don't have to worry about pouring mm -hmm. it in else and keeps it nicely contained in one spot. <laughs> got some pigments escaping. They're very pretty. Very pretty. All of them. <laughs> Okay, and then we have, this is the brass. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, it just goes on so smooth. See, this is making me want to, like, go shopping right now. I need I need to get my liquid metals back. <laughs> they last quite a while, too. I mean, I probably had mine uh, at least two years. Mm-hmm. And um, it was still good, the, the gold. I mean, I have to um, repurchase my gold because, like, I used to use liquid metal a lot, a lot. Okay. I, I, I actually managed to finish one and then almost finish the second one, but then I didn't use it for a very long time and it corroded. Um, well, you know, you, I could see, you know, if you use it on furniture, it's good yeah. a lot. So, and it's gorgeous on furniture. Mm -hmm. So brass. So pretty. Yeah, see, I think brass could do with another color, um, another coat. Yes. Yes. The only one I noticed that smelled a little different was the silver. I don't know. Maybe I had like a a bad batch for copper or something like that because mine um coverage was not great at all and then it smelled really really strange so maybe i just had like a um a bad one yeah because that has that's as good as the silver 
Mm. Really good coverage. Uh, as far as smell, you know, once these are all opened, I think my nose is. <laughs> <laughs> no, no smell receptors left. <laughs> that's it. Okay. So that's just showing you the colors. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like if you're using it on a clay embellishment here. This is a LaBlanche mold. And it was just a book I did ages ago, but I just added the um, the clay mold on here. And uh, I was just going to do the gold. I did this before on a book. Oh, my goodness. So pretty. Now, I don't have to start. To see this. <laughs> What's that? I'm excited to see this. Yeah. It's so, so satisfying. I, it is, right? <laughs> and, and I spray it off. It's almost like you want a dry brush and yeah. go lightly across the top because I'm just wanting to highlight the top. Ugh. I'm not, I don't want to go down. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's so pretty, honestly. Like, that's why I used to use it on everything. <laughs> makes you happy <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's one of those that are like it's a bit like asmr right for people that like yeah. ASMR. Yeah. this is visual <laughs> right <laughs> all right now this is so cool i think i need to do another color what mm. other color do i do what does everybody want to see oh um the oh. copper yes what do you want to see the copper i could do copper and then silver Let's see, see Terry says, just remember to tighten the lid before you shake. <laughs> oh. That is so true. Yeah, that would be really bad. Oh, I did that with resin once last summer. You know, I opened up my resin. Oh. <laughs> and then I went to pour it. And, and I just, I guess I forgot that I already opened it. I went to just shake it up oh. one last time. And thankfully, it didn't go like on me but <laughs> it oh went my. everywhere else. Okay, this is the copper. Let's do copper and then silver, because I want to see it. <laughs> yes. Let's see them all. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have enough brushes. Okay, maybe not, not all of them. Is there a mold on the side as well? Yes, there is. I can oh, do it all. You have room. <laughs> and I actually painted that thinking, I yes, I, I might need to... Um, to do that. I'm going to have to go get more brushes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just lightly dry brushing. I gopped it on there a little bit too much. Oh, very pretty. Yeah. I do prefer the gold though, personally. Yes. I'm, I'm just a gold person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But both are very pretty. Like copper with like a maybe like a green over a green would look so right. nice. Right. To do a patina sort of too, right? Let me do that. You asked Terry if it if that if she's speaking from experience and Terry says it was really bad that silver went everywhere during said oh. carousel from said Patreon class. <laughs> How do you I have no idea who you're talking about? Oh Whose Patreon class was that? <laughs> it's like magic. <laughs> it is. Oh, look at the silver, though. <gasps> oh, like that. It's so pretty. Terry, did it go on, like, furniture and everything? How the heck did you... I don't know how you could get that out. You just have to mm -hmm. throw things away. Like, mm -hmm. start the house. <laughs> Start a new life under a new name. Beautiful. That is so pretty. Like, I'd, if I didn't know what they smelled like, I'd say they look delicious. But they they don't look delicious. But just oh. So, mm. Okay. Mm. Brass. Because why not? I have two more brushes. <laughs> says the silver is beautiful. And you can always wipe some off on a paper towel first if you want to. Yeah. It's better to take more off and come back and add more. This is also not the brush I would normally use. I would use, I'm just looking for 
a little fan brush, I would use, I would use one of these, a little fan brush, because that's going to yeah. lightly go over top better, cover more area. It gives you like that lightness, right, when you use, use the brush over it. It's not as concentrated in one spot, spreads right. out. Yeah. yeah, this is a teeny tiny old junky brush. Is that the brass? This is the brass. Yeah. That is also very pretty. Shine, because you can see it right next to the copper. Mm -hmm. But you know, that might not be a look you're going for all the time. This is more of a muted, uh, antique look. So it looks a little more aged. That's mm -hmm. really cool. I love it. My, what's it say? My desk. No, my desk and rug under my desk, which I immediately replaced, but it was awful getting off of my hands. <clears throat> yeah. Fun times, huh? <laughs> Terry. <laughs> During a live, too. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. And there was a live stream as well, wasn't that? <laughs> I'm going to do the antique gold on the side mold there, because why not? Yes. I'll That's use fan brush. I'll sacrifice. <laughs> the things that we do for this, right? Oh. Oh, so pretty. Definitely antique looking. It's more sheer, right? Yes. Yeah. It's sheer, it's not that brass, brass, brashy kind of gold in your face mm -hmm. gold. It looks more like um like the gold wax. Yeah. Okay. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. And the other, one other thing I want to show you that in my cleaner is um, paper. So here I did, I don't know if anybody does junk journals. I made this little pocket just from old book pages. And then I went around the edges with the gold. And it just makes it a little special. So I do it on here. And then I was going to show you, these are little pockets that I made. Now on the edges here, I used a glitter glue on the edges, but I want to try it with this gold. So you can see it. This is that glitter. Oh, so pretty. I want to try it. So I have these little pockets here and I want to look magical, honestly. The white? <clears throat> the pockets look magical. Yeah. Like they're so shiny and so pretty and sparkly. And just, ah. So this is just um, cheap little tissue paper from the dollar store that I mm. ran through the copy machine, my, my printer, with, um, with the digital. So it printed the design on the tissue paper, and I made a little pocket. And you could see where I cut the top. So this opens up, and you can attach it to your book page you know you could glue it to your book page and then put tags or whatnot inside and you can see the gold yeah i'm going to add a little bit of gold show you how to do that so again i just use a little brush and i'm going to use the gold here we go just the normal gold, right? The normal gold, yes. And this is a little pocket with decoupage queen paper. Just a little, you could glue it into the back. Again, glue it to a page and put little tags and things inside. And I just take a little bit on my brush and I just do it like this on the side. So I'm not just painting it on, it's just sort of running it on the edge and it comes off. Or like a 45 degree angle. And then just. And it's just so pretty. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just can't see it. Can you see that? Yeah, just, just about, just about. But it is very pretty because it's so shiny. Yeah, it's better on the dark. 
it's very difficult to get that with um like other metallic paints because they're more like mica based i guess and then they're, they're just more sparkly rather than metal like right. like this honestly looks like metal mm -hmm. it looks like liquid metal <laughs> <laughs> no way <laughs> Yeah, see, we can see it really well there on the yeah. corner. Yeah. The dark, you can see yeah. that. Yeah. I just, uh, something about that, I just, it makes me I so happy. I used to do that on my um, lace tags. So I made a load of um, lace tags out of cardboard and then all of the edges I done right. with metal right, like that. Yeah. So you just move along the edge and it just highlights it. And the same thing on old book pages. And the bonus here would be that, like, uh, because it's solvent based, once it cures, it stays on for quite a while. Like, it doesn't get um, as like worn off, as right? Would because when you touch wax um, sides, right? They they kind of over time rub off. They do. You know, I have, I have books that I did like a year ago, and if I pull them out, they're, they're it's a little worn away. Yeah. So Highlight it again. Um, yeah. So that's a little bit on some music paper. Oh. So cute. So pretty. Okay. Yeah, Betty says, a gilded edge always looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been on a bit of a gilding um, obsession <laughs> lately. Golden you can, everything. You can just, like, touch it different areas. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be just on the edges. Like, you know, oops, I just dropped a little bit. <laughs> so it just catches your attention. It makes it a little special. Oh, it just do like a um, paint splatters, but with, with liquid metal. I bet that would look pretty. But like you'd need like a, you'd need to cover everything. First. Gloves, raincoat. Yeah. <laughs> ask. Okay, that is the liquid metal. Uh, Very pretty. Anybody have questions about that? We can do them first. Um, before... No, we don't have any questions so far. But yeah, if, if anybody has any, please put them in the chat. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the metal pigments. And the difference, my goodness, I look like um the Tin Man. <laughs> We're an alien. I got it on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Terry says next Saturday's 101 is later um, since she's not in time, at home in time. Yes. So uh, for everybody watching, everybody that is kind of enjoying these 101s and is joining us um, for them every Saturday. Next Saturday, we're going to have Terry hosting it and um, it's going to be a little bit later in the day. I will be sending out. Uh, an email newsletter and just keep an eye on like for when the event pops up on the time difference. I'm going to have to check it because we're in this weird time zone thing at the moment where my clocks don't change until tonight. Um, we don't go into spring uh, or summer. Yeah, ours used to be later. It changed it a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we're into the metal pigments and the biggest difference is it's not solvent based so if you get migraines if the smell really bother, bothers you then this is the product for you mm -hmm. uh, uh, you use it with pigment fix I have no idea how they were able to make this um, spotters on Easter eggs yes that would be beautiful yeah, yeah. Um, so the pot, the plus is that it doesn't smell, but you do need to mix it as you go, which is not really a negative because you can just mix as much as you want and you're not wasting it. So this will last you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it depends. <laughs> how good are you at that? Um, measuring how much you're going to need? <laughs> well, that's true because you can't save it. So when you're mixing right you're mixing it for just this project. You can't put it in a little container and seal it and come back even in, in two hours and it, you can use it. No, it dries up pretty quickly. 
-hmm. You just mix up. It's better to just mix it. Um, you need a little more, mix more. Um, so that's really all the differences, the pluses and minuses, which I don't think they're really, really that bad of a negative. I'm going to show you the colors. Um, we have, again, gold and antique gold. This is the gold. This is antique gold. Same as before. It looks a little bit more antique. -y. Yeah. We have silver and champagne. <laughs> it's like gold, right? Or closer to white gold. Yes. It's almost like mixing silver and gold together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that one. Um, Do I have it? We have rose gold. These are the new ones. Rose gold, champagne. Oh, then uh, I probably don't have it. <laughs> I need it. Yeah. yeah. They're really pretty. I think this new too is the fire gold and copper. Mm. Before they only had silver and the two golds, I believe. Or maybe it was just the silver and the gold. And eh, now I'm confusing myself. So the, this is a uh, fire gold and this is fire gold and this is copper. I remember Lynn from Ellen J. Goods used fire gold uh, when we did the Royal Court event about a year ago now. Okay. Just under a year ago. So the fire gold is definitely around. Okay. I got I use so many brushes. <laughs> okay, let me find some more. Rima says if you mix copper and silver pigments, you get rose gold. Yeah, that's very helpful and useful. Thank you, Rima. I never knew. Me neither. Oh, huh. okay. That's so, handy to know. If you don't have them, you know, the right color, you can mix right. the right. Copper and silver. Is that what she said? Uh, oh. Yes, copper and silver pigments. Interesting. Gold. Okay. So I use a little spoon. If Robin's on, it's called a spoony spoon. Such a cute spoon. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the wedding section of a... Of, uh, a craft store oh. and these are what the pigments look like it's just a powder and i am going to do gold and the rose gold so you can i like to take it out with my brush and put it on the plate do you do pigment first and then pigment fix into it yeah you can do it either way. You can also use these little plastic cups if you wanted. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I I think that's the way I've been doing it lately is doing the, um, you can do it either way. Just yeah. Matter. <laughs> I, I usually go pigment fix first and then uh, uh -huh. pigment on top. But I don't know what it is with me, but I always end up using too much pigment. Like I always end up adding more than what I think I need. Right. So well, there's a bit of like a, even though it seems like an easier thing, I think there's a bit of practice that um, that is needed. Yeah. But also you, it depends on what you're doing with it. You can use it through a stencil and you're going to want it really thick. That's true. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. you know, you could just like I was doing with the paper, you know, you can just, um, I'm going to take some off my brush here. Like this. Says she always uses pigment first and then adds fix. Yeah, yeah. I tend to do things backwards. <laughs> well, I think it's, it's you know, to, to, what is it? tomato, tomato, right? It doesn't really matter um, which no. way around. I don't know if you can see that in on the screen, but, you know, same thing. You just You just put it on the edge but this is a little bit thick and look at that shine I mean that is great coverage and it is definitely comparable to the mm -hmm. to normal liquids um, liquid metal gold the one I just did this yeah. is the, you know and that was the gold there so can you do like a swipe right next to the liquid metal or just a little swish 
so then we can see it side by side. Yeah, yeah. they basically look pretty much identical. Yeah. Wow, I didn't realize that. Yeah, they're pretty darn close. I mean, mm -hmm. there's you know, the difference between them. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and again, if you if you can't stand that smell, you know, there's there's reasons to do each one. If you don't feel like sitting or mixing them or, you know. And, yeah. So. I think that's me. That's why I, I stick with liquid metal or I prefer liquid metal because I just... I, uh, the mixing part, as fun as it is to be a little alchemist every now and then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes I just wanna I just wanna paint already. <laughs> right. Right. I don't want to sit there and mix, so then I'll go for a liquid metal. Exactly. Uh, depending on how lazy you want to be, right? But then there's cleanup. So <laughs> right. and like I said, you could make this thick and you can do it through a stencil where you can't oh, with yeah that's that's also true yeah rima says the fix is basically a top coat that is very true i've used um before i got my pigment fix i just mixed my pigment in with um water-based gloss varnish and it works absolutely fine I, I think it dries quicker than pigment fix but Okay, so this is the antique gold, where that yeah. was just, and then this is the liquid. Uh, okay. Versus. So it, it is brighter. It has like better coverage, but it looks like it's brighter. Yes, definitely, definitely okay. bright. Antique gold is more, I guess, greenish dollar. Gold. Yes. Yeah, I would say dollar. Yeah. yeah. Which, you know, when you're doing something that's very distressed and you want it to mm -hmm. old looking, that's kind of the look you want. Mm -hmm. More of the antique. <laughs> Rima says, you can tell I have practiced with pigments. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. All right, let's do the silver next. Let's have a look. This is fun. <laughs> yeah. Like that, you little little chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> so I there did the pigment fix first, and then add that. I think the first time I was using it, I used a toothpick or something to stir it, and I thought, eh, I just think the. Um, Paper. Why is it taking so long? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it definitely took a long time. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That silver will probably be very close as well, won't it? Yeah. It looks... Oh. It's... Coverage is not as good. Okay, yeah. But that's kind of nice seeing the black through it. I, I like yeah. that. But here it is next to the silver. The metal, uh, the liquid metal definitely had better coverage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So if you wanted to go for more like an antique silver, you could use um, right. pigment. And, you know, sorry, I haven't been putting it on the cream, but uh, yeah. yeah, you can definitely see the color underneath it a little bit. So you would mm -hmm. need. Or, you know, I, I wonder if I just put more in it. Pigment, yeah. You know, maybe it was too much of the the liquid. Yeah, that's true. That, that, that's also, like, the, why it's a bit of a... You're never going to get the an, an identical mix un, unless you specifically measure things out, right? Right. You're never going to get the exact same mix. Yeah, so that definitely gave better coverage. But it's also going to be thicker. So if you're like painting, you will get um, more paint strokes, paint brush strokes, and stuff yes. like that. Right. It kind of levels out pretty, pretty nice. But yeah, even with the liquid metal, you do see some brush. Mm -hmm. Betty says she loves that shimmer. Yeah, it's so pretty. All right, let's do champagne next. Mm, yes. 
pain. Okay, see, I think I'm better with the, doing this first. I, think I used a little less. I guess it's what you're used to, right? Oh. Robin is asking, can you mix with solvent-based varnish also? I wonder. I've never tried it personally. Uh, I can't see why you, you wouldn't be able to. It seems like, uh, you know, solvent... You can use solvent-based varnish in place of a water-based varnish. Mm. Um, it's just normally I'm like, why would I? Because it stinks. Yeah, right. I'm going to avoid solvent-based varnish if I can. <laughs> yeah. The only yeah. reason solvent-based varnish is for the crackle, the fine line crackle. Mm, yeah, because you can't um, varnish with water-based over that. Right, right. Oh, that that is beautiful. Yeah, the champagne is really pretty. So pretty. I'll do that next to the gold, so you can see. It definitely looks like a mix between silver and gold. That's so pretty. You know, it's not not as brash. It's so pretty. It's. Delicious. Okay, I need to get me some champagne pigment. <clears throat> you know, I would watch Teresa sometimes. She'd, she'd mix gold and silver together, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really, really pretty. Oh, pretty. It, it doesn't look – I'm looking at the screen, and it just doesn't quite look the same in person. <laughs> so mm -hmm. what you're seeing on the screen, it, it it's even prettier in real life. <laughs> Robin says solvent based to me is a lot more shiny than water based glossy. I think yeah. you just need um, a few extra coats of water based glossy. Right? Solvent based is going to be um, shinier with one or two coats versus um, with water based because it's thinner. You need a, a few extra coats on top. Um, Christiana says, yeah, yeah, I just. Mm, just made my first pentart order today. Yay! You're gonna be a welcome to the to the club. <laughs> <laughs> pentart addicts anonymous. All right, I am doing rose gold next. I want to see rose gold next to fire gold. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not giving out orders. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just putting it out. There. It's not to compare them. I just, I just realized that I probably sound like I'm just <laughs> telling you what to do. Excuse me. It's interesting to see the fire gold, copper, and rose gold together because they're all sort of, you know, mm. bit of a family there. And you want to see the differences between them. I do. Which ones you can't live without? Yeah, all of the gold, <laughs> which means all of them. Yeah, and silver. It's really fun to mix them, though. That's pretty thick. You enjoy it? Yeah. See, I'm not yeah. patient enough for this. Oh, okay. Just give me that. <laughs> Just let me paint already. Open and go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very pretty. Very pretty. Yes. So it will be interesting to see them. Like. So it looks very close to copper. It does. So that's why I did that right there. Uh, yeah. Can you do it on the light side? Yeah, that's what I was just going to do. Oh, sorry. No, that's it. Okay. Color. Yeah. So basically, yeah, it, I guess no, no. it has a bit more like, I don't know, orangey in it. Right. Not so much pink. 
Yeah. But so close. Okay, maybe we have to do, was it Rima that said the copper and mm. the, maybe we have to mix copper and silver and see what happens, right? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do fire gold, which I imagine is going to be more red next to it. It's very red. That is very red. I, yeah. I had this pigment sitting here for ages and I haven't used it yet. Oh. I just, so maybe I'll. Maybe this will motivate me to make a project where I yeah. use Yes. Gold. Yeah, you need to make this one. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. It makes me think of Christmas. Right. I wonder what this mixed with silver would look like. <laughs> well, now I need to mix them all. <laughs> all of the combinations. Yes, very rare. I don't know why they added gold into the name. Because it's not really gold, is it? Right, right. It's very red. It's very red. <laughs> Mel says luscious colors. Okay. Yeah, that's the fire gold. And then on the cream. Okay, I need to use it. Yeah, this one's really pretty. I yeah. like Definitely perfect for Christmas. Mm. It's like I haven't made enough Christmas projects. <laughs> Every uh, oh, Christmas. <laughs> it always start Christmas. That's Every true. Do this one. Really. Uh, and now we have copper. So I'll do the copper next to the uh, rose, rose gold, rose gold and fire gold. Yeah. And you can just see, I mean, I use so little, this will last an incredible long time. Yeah. I think in the, in the whole, um, pigments and pigment fix you might need to like get more pigment fix because that kind of you go through that especially if you um you know as it starts drying out you might need to mix in a little bit more and stuff to keep it alive but as far as pigments themselves they they last a long time oh and you can use these to um show off the cracks in your fine line crackle as well okay so, Classic crackle, you know, in two two step crackles. That's a great idea. Oh, look how pretty. Okay, and let's make sure. Okay, this was copper. Wow. <laughs> I just I just want to keep painting. That's I know, cool. right? <laughs> It goes on so smoothly as well. You, you did a nice uh, mix. <laughs> okay, so we want to see it here. We want to see it here, right? Yeah. My hair in there. Yeah. We yeah. don't want to see that. <laughs> it's in my hair, dog hair, some kind of hair and everything. Okay. Um, so, a wow. big one. I just did the copper so some of them look a little same yeah but again it's in person you can see a difference a little more yeah but you'd you'd probably need to be like you need to be very um i guess specific with like to to warrant having all three of them i guess i don't know like right. unless you mix them it, uh, they're so similar that you probably wouldn't if they weren't next to each other, you wouldn't really be able to tell. So Definitely like, more change here. Yeah. Right. And this so is a little more golden, too. Hello, Nicole. Hi, Nicole. We're just playing with metal pigments. All right, so should I mix? Um, 
let's see if it comes out any different. Maybe more rose. Maybe we'll see more of a rose gold. Well, geez. I mean, I could sit here all day mixing colors because now I'm like, hey, what happens if you mix <laughs> fire gold with silver? Right? Hmm. They're probably going to go more pink. Right. Let's do that. I'm going to run out of brushes before anything. <laughs> Our alchemy lesson is going to be cut short by Nancy's um, <laughs> lack right. of brushes. <laughs> okay, I want to do fire, gold, and silver. Fire, gold, and silver. Mel is asking, can waxes be applied over the pigment fix slash pigment? Um, sure, you could because it's just a water-based product. Um, I guess my question is always why? Because yeah, right. So this is sort of in place of the wax, I would think. Um, I suppose maybe if you use, let's say, you use like fire gold, right? And then you just wanted to do like a, a gold, yeah, a or, gold over the top. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Because a water-based product so wax can always go on top of water-based to be fair you could probably use wax over anything yeah the most right like even liquid metal as soon as like once it's dry i don't see why you wouldn't be able to put wax over the top of that right <clears throat> yeah where i did it on the on the mold on the book you could come over top with some white wax and mm. and that would highlight it a little bit more sure i'll see robin says i do waxes all the time over this to mix metals right right yeah suppose yeah if you have a like a gold pigment and then a silver wax mm -hmm. and you want to mix them yeah Oh, that is beautiful. So that's silver and fire gold. Silver and fire gold. And, you know, you could go heavier. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, that's like a proper rose gold. Yes. That's more rose gold than the rose gold. Yes. Yeah. Very much. Um, anyway, yeah. Ah. That's a really pretty rose gold. You know what? It looks like the, the wax paste, the rose gold wax paste. What is it called? Yes. Um, yeah, rose gold wax paste. That's what it reminds me of. You need these too. <laughs> but <laughs> silver would, would really change it. And, oh my God. That is <laughs> so pretty. Okay. And then you can add more silver into it and it'll be lighter, right? Yeah. Do I have anything? That... <laughs> Oh, yes. Deborah says, I opened my pigment fix and then used it later, but it was so thick and hard. Oh, that sounds like maybe it froze. Or if you just poured out, do you mean like you poured out a little bit and then it hardened really fast? Because it, it doesn't have a very long like life um, was, once you, once you it, use it. Yeah, was it hard? I thought you meant was it hard in the container or did this turn hard? Because yes, this will turn hard. This will only last a while. It will dry up and you can't bring it to life again. Mm -hmm. Once it dries up, that's it. Tina says gold or silver pigment with a black wax over to give an aging look. Yes. I like that. Okay, so we have a Facebook user. I'm so sorry, I can't see your name. Um, but somebody says, I'm late. What did you use? Uh, what did you just mix together? Thanks. Okay, so we're what we're mixing today is metal pigment. This is all Pentart with the pigment fix. It's a water-based product and you mix it as you go and you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. You can use it through a stencil or just paint it on paint it it can be a paint <laughs> and I, on top of your molds um i just so i did this rose gold on here 
just to show you. Beautiful. Yeah. I can see that over some green right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm really. I like. It. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was really cool. Robin says, wow, who knew you could mix them? Great tip. Well, yeah. Rima knew. <laughs> Rima, it's, this, is, this is all Rima's idea today. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Rima. But you said copper and um, silver. Yeah, we should try that as well. Got to try. Uh, um, so Deborah says, okay, so Deborah is the one who got her pigment fix all stuck and not movable and thick. She says, I used some and closed it. It got hard in the container. It seems you must use it fast or it is wasted. Um, it shouldn't. No, I've had mine for, I've, yeah. I've had mine for a while. No, I'm just looking for mine right now because I used mine a good few months ago when I opened it. Um, used a little bit and I don't know if you can hear it. There, I found it, but it's, um, the lid is a little bit stuck. Yeah. <laughs> But on the inside, it's all very liquidy. So um, it shouldn't, that doesn't sound right. It sounds like something happened to it. Maybe if, if the lid wasn't closed all the way or yeah, some, something else. That's definitely not normal. And Dana says it turned hard in the jar once opened. That's why I buy smaller amounts because of fear of it drying out over time. Did you happen to leave it maybe like somewhere where it's like really warm, hot in the sun? I don't know. Yeah, but, but it still shouldn't. Not like, no. not solid. I think maybe I need silver isn't changing it too much. Um, this is, I'm mixing silver with the copper. Deborah says, I bought some more to see if it does it again. I never used mine except inside. Yeah, hopefully the other one won't do the same. But if it does, then hmm, that'll be very strange. I'd say it was probably like a lid issue or something wrong with the container for whatever reason, rather than like the product itself. And then air is getting in it. Yeah. But it, well, one thing for sure, it definitely shouldn't do that. <laughs> no, no, it lasts quite a while because it is just a water-based product. Mm -hmm. This is an awfully pretty color. We'll see if it's looking pink. Rima it's says you need more silver than copper. That's what I figured, yes. Okay, so you kind of mix copper into silver, I yeah. guess. But it's very pretty. Yeah, that's that's looking really pretty. That's almost a little lighter of a pink. So I just did it right here. Yeah. And that was the fire gold with the silver. Yeah. Yeah. So we have fire gold with silver and then copper with silver, right? Yeah. To each other. And see, copper with silver has more of a, I think, is it more like an orangey tint to it? An orangey, maybe peachy. Is yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like that kind of. But it, like she said, if now if I just keep adding more silver, you know, it's it's going to change it. So you can mix yeah. it. The only bad thing about that, you just want to mix as much as you need because mm -hmm. more than you think you need because you'll never get that same color again. Yep. Yeah. That's a really pretty color, though. I like that. No problem. Always. Here is it on the. Arima the is asking, can you try gold and silver together? To maybe yeah. make champagne. Let's try it. That's going to be a champagne. This is really cool. It's almost like a little peachy. That's pretty. That's the, the one mm -hmm. I made. Rose gold and then that. Very that. pretty. We're running out of space on your board. <laughs> I thought I'd have so much. Yeah. I can only mix one more. <laughs> yeah. All right. Gold and silver. Gold and silver. Let's see. Betty says she loves the peach. Yeah, that was pretty. 
and see how how many colors you can get out of just mixing different ones right in different shades you need get yourself two colors and you can make all of the shades in between right by just mixing them together you probably need more silver than gold for champagne yeah yeah probably Let's see. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> really fun to do. Oh, it's definitely fun to watch. I don't know about doing. <laughs> yeah, I have too much gold in here. Now, let me take a little bit out. And I'll do some more silver. Yeah, I would think it's just going to keep. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> it's going to oh, keep. Is, yeah. Yeah, that's really pretty. <laughs> Rima says the cleaning of brushes. Yuck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is my champagne. That's very similar. It's almost identical. Oh, wow. Because that's what I think champagne is, is gold and silver. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is the champagne you buy. And that's the one I just made. Here's the one I just made. Huh. Really pretty. So really beautiful. beautiful. And I just like, I mean, it looks beautiful on both black and light and colored mm -hmm. background. It's going to look good on any color background. I love this. Yeah, that's really Which cool. one's your favorite? <laughs> Out of the custom <laughs> mixes, which one is your favorite? Ask everybody else, because I... <laughs> I mean, you got to have gold. I love the champagne. And now I'm loving this mix of the fire gold, the mm -hmm. fire, but also the copper and the silver. Those are, those are really cool. <laughs> so How can you pick? I'm going to pick two. Original gold and the mix of the fire gold and silver mm. to make the rose gold. That's really, really pretty. I do want to know what everybody else thinks, though. Like, yeah, let so, me know which one is your favorite. Yes, because as you guys know, ah, uh, your favorites. One, that's top pretty. five. <laughs> I definitely really like the champagne, and specifically the champagne that you just mixed. Yeah, but now I'm just throwing them all together. Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah. So Betty says champagne and peach mixes. Tina says rose gold and silver. <laughs> Lori says I need them all. <laughs> no, how thick and creamy that is too. I mean, yum. Look <laughs> at that. Oh, that is nice. Okay, so I have a little egg here from, this is, you can get these. Well, Easter's almost over, but you can, these are from Handcrafted Holiday Traditions from Royal Court retailers, a cute little bunny. And I did this on the back and I just wanted to do a quick stencil. Very pretty. So the Facebook user, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know who it is um, um, in the group. I can't see your name, but um, okay, they're saying, okay, got it. Pigment powder with the pigment fix. And yes, that is correct. And you can mix different colors of pigment powders between each other and mix them right. with pigment fix. And then you can get whatever colors they have two different lids, but they're metal pigments. Mm -hmm. So these are metal. Okay, so I'm just going to do stencil over this. Um, Rima says you can't have a favorite. They all look amazing. Agreed. Yeah. Sharon agrees with me. Champagne, the one you mixed. <laughs> me and Sharon are on the same page here. So that but means you need like two or three. You need silver because you're going to mix silver to change... The colors. Mm -hmm. So as I mix it as, oh, well, now I just hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up. But I have another oh, one. Mel Carter is asking, is Pigment Fix a glue product? 
No, it's more of like a, a varnish. Like mm -hmm. a, I guess it could be a glue, varnishing glue. Um, but it's very thin. As you see, I'm, I'm using it with. So, no, you, you wouldn't. It's more like a varnish kind of, right? Is that, is that what you'd say? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so if you don't have pigment fix um, in a pinch, you can use water-based gloss varnish instead to mix them. Yeah. It's better to use pigment fix, I suppose, because, I mean, there's a reason why they make a special product for it. But if you don't, you can substitute it with water-based varnish. Oh, Robin says our Facebook user is um, the sweet Karen Atterbury. Hi, Karen. So sorry. With uh, Yeah. But hello. <laughs> sometimes it recognizes me and sometimes yeah. it um Rima says no it's a top coat yeah basically it's a top coat and right. Rima says you can use it as decoupage medium oh I didn't know that right that's what I when she asked that I was like oh okay yeah it's like a oh, I suppose you could yeah oh it's like it's a top coat pretty <laughs> ah that's so pretty and it's a little bit 3d because I made it mm -hmm. super mm -hmm. and what color are you everything on this plate <laughs> yeah. i mix it all together <laughs> <laughs> this is a very 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 custom mix yeah. so if you make it thicker it's a perfect stencil material dana is asking metallic powders not chrome powders with the pigment fix right these are metal pigment pigments but i don't know i don't see why they wouldn't work and even I my you can definitely mix them with mica. Yeah. Um, but I'd, I'd say chrome powders are probably going to be a bit too expensive to use them with pigment fix because yeah. you get like a tiny little amount of chrome powder in there. Yeah, they're tiny. That's going to, yeah. that's, that's, you would use them up. Yeah. Yeah. And they're expensive to, to only get one use out of. That's made more to use just as, more of like a wax like a you know touching it on top of a project yeah Rima is asking can you heat it up please can i heat it up can you heat it up please yeah do you mean um heat up the stencil or like through this the one that went through the stencil she says i just want to see which one oh you mean hold it up or do you mean hold it up? I don't know. I'm not sure. Betty is asking, will it puff up when heated? Oh, no, I wouldn't think so. Because it's just a like a varnish material. Um, it's it, now it, if you do it thick enough, this is a 3D. So it's not puffy, mm -hmm. but I don't know if you can see that. It is definitely a 3D stencil. Um, yeah, so she's asking, the the one that is 3D, dry it. I'm guessing, yeah, to see if it puffs up oh. or if it goes down. or Like, if, is it going to lose its shape? Karen <sighs> says she loves it all. Um... Laurie says she loves the stencil. Well, thank you, Laurie. <laughs> that is uh, decoupage queen slash slash me. <laughs> it's called luminous. It's called luminous stencil, and it's made so, by you truly. Dried three D. It didn't okay. puff. So it's, you definitely run your fingers over it and you can feel it. So it's I mean, hold shape. Yeah, it held the shape fine. If I really hold the heat on it, it might bubble it, but probably not in a good way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Probably not like expand paste or anything like that. Right, right. That might do damage to it. Um, the weathered shed, hello. Um, she said, um, it's all, it almost looks embossed. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And hold on one second. Oh, okay. Rima says that's what she wanted to see if this, if the shape stays. 
Okay. I wanted to get my, I forget who suggested it before the silver, or a lot of people said it, they'll use silver over top. Um, so let me get my book. And if you wanted to. Oh, silver wax. Okay. The, the silver wax. And you just touch it lightly just to sort of, uh, like Robin said, mix metals. That looks, I don't know if you can see that. You can just see the silver, yeah, over the top. You could do the white. You could see it on that one. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Yep, you can definitely do wax over them to just add a little bit more dimension. Mm -hmm. and you could do it over this as well. Sure. This is oh, great. Sorry. So you get, I, you know, I might get it on the paper as well. But sure, you could touch it to it. Rima says that has been a very fun session. Agreed. Okay. <laughs> Any more questions? says it's nice to have all of the products to play with miriam says sorry i'm late oh hi miriam oh. <laughs> we're glad that you made it always replay yeah there's always replay but no i don't see any questions does anybody have any questions yes miriam it is i <laughs> <laughs> i have company today yeah <laughs> so that was a lot of fun that was really fun mixing the colors yeah. Yeah. Um, it's supposed to be right, it's supposed to be fun. You're supposed to have you know, experiment and woohoo, look at all this! <laughs> look at all of those colors that we mixed up, amazing! <laughs> yeah, Arima says, Thanks, Nancy, for doing this and being willing to try. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, you're welcome. Betty says, Thank you, Nancy and Iveta, you're welcome. You're welcome. Definitely, um, you want to clean your edge because it does get stuck. You can mm. see it like hardened on my edges here. So it is a good idea. Yeah, and then and then you can't so, close like me. <laughs> yeah, because it won't close properly. So yeah, it could be a problem. Is, you know, the air gets in it, um, but it gets so hard you can pull it off. Tina says, it has been fun to watch you, Nancy, the alchemist, lol. <laughs> Nancy is an alchemist, isn't she? Robin says, it's been so much fun. Miriam says, it's so good to see you, Nancy. I hear you better. Thank you. Thank Laura you. says, very educational. Love it. Yes. This was a lot of fun. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Um. And we have nooks and crannies saying saran wrap over the top and then the lid um, on, over I, the lid. I yeah. always say that and then I'm just, I guess I'm too lazy to go up and get yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Me too. We should be doing that. We should. <laughs> I'm peeling, peeling it off of the edges. So that, that will affect the, how the lid fits. So try your plastic wrap. That might be, you know, just doesn't this go. Session right. make me happy. <laughs> Karen says I have two birthday presents to make so I'll watch um, the replay and use this technique thank you you're very welcome Yolanda says good morning from SoCal um, Riverside it's raining just Aww. turned on and saw a makeup palette <laughs> it does look like a makeup palette doesn't it <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that was a lot of fun and, and it's great for you know if you're getting into paper oh I did a quick little I had this, you know, I just like splattered some of the, the gold on it mm -hmm. and on, pretty on pattern paper. Um, yeah, it, you can use it on anything. Oh, yeah. We have Miriam and Dana saying Vaseline and clear wax for the lids, I, for rims of the lids. Yeah, that could probably help as well. Yeah, because my lid, it, it is hard to get on and off now because it's hardened. Yeah. You can also just clean the lid. If you clean the lid, then there's not that's true. <laughs> All right, then Nancy. All right. 
Well, <laughs> option you like the best. <laughs> That's very satisfying, like peeling glue off your fingers. Oh, yes. That's um, says Vaseline might contaminate the product if it gets inside. That's true. Vaseline, I'd be too messy with. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready to say I, goodbye? Thank you so much, everyone, for watching and joining in and suggestions. Love it. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. We hope you have a lovely, lovely Saturday. And don't forget, there's um, Creative Hour later today. Yeah. Yeah, on Deco Bush Queen. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye.